This is the legacy. This is the power steering pump. This is the water pump. This is the timing belt. We got a lot to do on this car. This is the biggest job we've ever done on this car. Let's get it started. All right, we got a leak from our power steering. That's leaked all down into there, but it's still, it's level is fine. I really hope it'll stop soon. It's almost, it's almost at the tip. Oh no. All right, so what do we got here? We got the hoses off, the air intake off, and now we're gonna start taking off this uh, cross stuff and take the radiator out. All right, everything goes in the back. Two timing covers off. It's actually a three piece. So looking here, we have that side off and that side off. So we are getting somewhere and a little bit more digging. I actually need a 22 to get that off. I can't get that off now. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can with the power steering pump and then head to the hardware store. Very important, inspect the parts because you have to take a lot of stuff off of here and put it on here. This is all what we're gonna need for the timing belt. We need the auto tensioner. We have the thermostat OEM, always get OEM. And I grabbed the grommet, uh, what do you call it? The O-ring from there, put it around there. We have our idlers, two of the same, one small and one sprocket. Then we have the actual belt. It's good to mark the belt so you can see it. Water pump, some seals, and a gasket for the water pump. And then we need this stupid expensive $80 kit made in Taiwan, which is great, that we need to utilize to put the accessory belts on once we put the timing belt on. So we're gonna crack away at this slowly but surely. So I got the bolt back in, that's lined up. That's lined up. That little notch is lined up. Those two are lined up. I checked with the mirror. It looks like everything is nicely lined up. So once we have it in line, we can know we can just take it off and everything, as long as we don't touch it, will be fine. There's tons of marks on these things though that we'll, we'll have no problem with it. Of course I made a mess. Okay, that's lined up. That one's lined up with that. Green lines are lined up. That one's lined up. That one's lined up. Goes around this idler here, around the sprocket, 
and the water pump. This one's hard to see. That one is lined up. So they are all lined up. Quote my words. Now for the belts, you might think, oh no, I'm gonna get confused which one. Actually, one of them has three grooves and one of them has four grooves, so you can't actually make any mistakes. Belts are tight. I'm gonna leave that off for a second. Blow off valve is in with vacuum line. Intake is in, MAF sensors in. Just filled up the coolant and cleared the air pockets, hopefully. <laughs> Let's start it up, see what happens. Guys, we're done. It's starting to rain. We're done everything. That's making a bunch of noise. We're gonna let it get up to operating temperature. That's basically the end of the Legacy series. We might do one more feature video on it, just cruising around the mountains, but we're done with it. So thanks for watching and till the next one.